Isn't that cool that you have opportunity to run Windows 10 Portable from your USB stick? Do you want to know how to run Tiny 10 Portable from your USB stick? Literally the same Windows 10 but the light version? Of course you do! And today I'm going to show you how to do this without any problem. First of all, you need to have a USB stick that at least has 16 gigabytes of storage. I think it will be the minimum requirements to run Tiny 10 without any problem. In short, why I'm making this video? Because I already made video where I showing you how to run Tiny 11. So I'm making this video because Tiny 10 impress me, not depress me, impress me because it's super light and fast for people who sleep on a rock for a while. I'm using Windows 10, yes, actually Windows 10 it's still good and it will get support until 2025. And Tiny 10 is Windows 10, but the light version. You can take your USB stick, go to the office and voila, you have Windows 10 portable in any place. Convenient? Of course. So guys, we are in the Windows. First of all, I recommend to have at least Windows 10 to repeat all the process. Then we need to open our browser. In my case, I will use Google Chrome browser. Click on it and type next. Tiny 10 download. Press enter. So here you may see this website. A link will be in the video description. Now you need to click on it. From this website, we can download tiny 10 ISO file. We need to scroll down a little bit. It's not top secret information that tiny 10 and tiny 11 was modified by NT dev development team. Here you may see download options, ISO image. We have six files. You can click here. So from this place, we can download ISO files. In our case, we need to select 22H2 Beta 2X64. You need to click on it and it will automatically will be downloaded on your laptop or computer. Or you can click on back and you have opportunity to download torrent. So if you want to download it much faster, you can use torrent. It all depends on you. But I will cancel this process because I already downloaded Tiny10 on my laptop. After you download the Tiny10 ISO file, you need to open a new page and then you need to type next. Rufus. Download. And press enter. Actually, Rufus program will help us to create a bootable USB stick with portable Tiny10. On this page, you need to find downloads. Click here. My friends, we are on the Rufus official website and now I will download this portable version 3.22x. Actually, it will run as portable application. For me, it will be the best solution. I will click here and it will also automatically download on your laptop or computer. After you download the Tiny10 and Rufus program, you need to go to the place where you save your files. In my case, I need to go to the downloads. I will click here. Now we need to do one very important step. We need to insert our USB stick into the laptop. I successfully installed my USB stick into the laptop and now we need to click on Rufus. We need to run it. Do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? I will select no. We are in the Rufus program. Here you may see device and we need to select our USB stick. In my case, this is my USB stick and yes, it has 32 gigabytes of storage. I will click on it. In the boot selection, leave everything by default, disk or ISO image. Then you need to click here on select and literally you need to select ISO file. As I previously said, I need to go to the downloads and select tiny 10. Click open. After this process, you need to do one very important thing. You need to find image option. Click on it because by default you may see standard Windows installation. Click here and select Windows to go. Literally, it is portable Windows. Click on it. If you click here, you will not be able to change any option. If you have UEFI, you can just leave everything by default and click start. But if your laptop support only legacy, you need to click here 
and select MBR. After that, you will be able to run Tiny10 in Legacy and UEFI as well. I want to warn you that all information and all data will be deleted from your USB stick. So be sure to save all your files and then click on Start. I want to be honest with you, I like Tiny10 and Tiny11 because you have a lot of convenient options. For example, you can disable data collection, create a local account, etc. So definitely I recommend to check all of this option, but most likely it all depends on you. Then you need to click OK. Warning you one more time, all your data will be destroyed. OK. My friends, now you just need to wait until Tiny10 will be installed on your USB stick. And after this process, I will show you step by step how to run Tiny10 from your USB drive. So guys, we successfully installed Tiny10 on USB stick and now we need to safely remove our flash drive. For this, we need to click here, select this USB icon and then you need to choose your USB drive. In my case, I will select SanDisk. And now we can successfully remove our flash drive. Now we can shut down the power and proceed to the next stage. So fellas, I successfully create a portable Tiny 10, literally Windows 10. And now I will be able to insert it into my laptop and run it without any problem. Also, it will be much better if you have USB 3.0 flash drive, it will work much faster. If you want to insert such a fast USB stick into your laptop or computer, be sure that your machine has a USB 3.0 port. So I will insert my USB stick and now we need to enter the BIOS. In my case, I need to press F1 key. But you need to understand that every device, every machine may be different and probably you need to press another key. So I recommend to check on the internet which key you need to press to enter the BIOS in your model. So I will turn on the laptop and press F1 key. My friends, we are in the BIOS. As you can see, this is the specs of my system. Intel Core i3 processor of third generation, 8 GB of RAM. Now we need to find boot option. So in my case, I need to select startup. And here you may see boot. I will press enter. In this window, you can find your USB stick and your SSD or hard drive. So in my case, this is my SSD drive and right now it is on the first place. So I need to move up my USB stick, which is on the second place. I will select my USB stick. In my case, I will press F6 key. I think in your BIOS, you will find information how to move it up or down. Then. I need to save all the changes. I will press exit and I will select exit saving changes. Press enter. So let's get it started. This laptop has USB 3.0 port and as you already know, I have USB 3.0 flash drive. If you have a fast USB stick and you have a newer computer, probably it may take even five minutes. So first time it always longer than it usually is. But the thing is, after you set up your system, next time it will be much faster, for real. So friends, I want to mention that the laptop loads but then restart Windows 10 license agreement. Click accept. And as you can see, we're using a local account that we previously select in Rufus program. My friends, we are in Tiny10. If you click here on the startup menu, you may not see a lot of icons, programs and other components that we used to see in Windows 10 because they removed them. I successfully connect my laptop to the internet and now I'm going to show you some interesting things in Tiny10. In short, how Tiny10 Portable works. Actually, it works like a Windows 10. For the example, right now I'm going to create a folder. And you know, this folder will be on our USB stick. That's mean you can save files on your USB stick. Also, I will show you how much space Tiny10 takes. So we are in Tiny10 one more time and this is our USB stick. I will click on the right mouse button and what do we see here? 
Tiny 10 takes 10.6 gigabytes of space. So as I previously said, I recommend to have a flash drive that at least have 16 gigabytes of storage. It will be the best solution, the minimum requirement to run Tiny 10 in my opinion of course. The thing is, some users wrote me that they have no problem to run Tiny 11 from USB stick that has 8GB of storage. Probably you can try to do this, but then your USB drive will be useless, believe me. Definitely you need to have some free space, for example to save your files, programs, etc. And now let's check how much RAM Tiny 10 takes. I will select Task Manager and as you can see Tiny 10, literally Windows 10 Portable, use 1.2 GB of RAM. So definitely it is more lightweight than Tiny 11. If you take a close look, here you may see the next message. Windows isn't activated. So the thing is, if you install Tiny 10 or Tiny 11, you still need to activate Windows. Yes, you can use a Windows key. So that's quite funny and maybe that's the reason why Tiny10 and Tiny11 is still available on the internet. For people who don't know, there is a Windows Ghost edition. When I tried to download ISO file, I realized that a lot of all the ISO files was deleted. And probably you may say that Windows Ghost is the modified version, it's not the official Microsoft product, and that's why I saw a lot of deleted ISO files. But why this not happening to Tiny10 and Tiny11? Can somebody answer me this question in the comments? I will be very gladful. Okay, I will close this window and right now I'm going to install some program. For example, AIDA64. I will click on the startup menu and as you can see, we have Microsoft Edge browser. For some people, it may be convenient because we already have some browser and we can search for important information. I want to search by using Google, so I will type google.com press enter. My friends, I just want to show you that actually you can install programs on your USB stick and after that you can use them because I have a lot of questions. Can we install some programs application on our USB stick? Yes, you can and I will download the first version. As you can see, installing process begin and that's a good news because many haters think that you cannot install programs, application on your USB stick. And as you can see, everything is possible. So fellas, as you can see, I successfully run AIDA64 on my laptop using USB stick. This is Tiny10 portable. Now we can check the temperature of my system. And I think I need to change a thermal paste, 100%. Here we can check some specs. CPU, GPU, memory, etc. And as you can see, Microsoft Windows 10 Enterprise 2021. And also I will create a text document and I'm going to show you one interesting experiment. So I will type here 1234. And now we will save this file. I want to mention one very important thing. After I restart the laptop, I see the message that I need to enter a password. But the thing is, I didn't create a password. So do not have any problem with this. We will create a password ourselves. For this we need to click on the startup menu, click on the settings icon, then you need to find account, click here, and now you need to select sign in options. Please pay attention, you need to select password, click on it and select add. For the example I will type 111, 111, here I will just type easy, okay, click next, local account, finish, changing your password. So after this process you just need to remember your password and that's all, it is very convenient. I successfully shut down the power and now I will remove my USB stick and oh it's hot, yeps. So what I'm going to do next, first of all I'm going to insert it back, yep I installed it back. Now I'm going to turn on the laptop and one more time I'm going to check 
if the USB stick is on the first place in the BIOS. We are in the BIOS, I will go to the startup, select boot, and as you can see our USB stick is on the first place, so we can click exit, save the changes and press the enter. Isn't that cool that you have opportunity to run Windows 10 portable from your USB stick? Windows 10 Lite portable. Now we need to enter our password. We are in the tiny 10. I restart the laptop, insert my USB stick and voila, we have all our files that we previously installed. So we can run AIDA64 without any problem. So that's mean you can save your files on Tiny10. Everything will work without any problem. Also, if you click on the text document, you may see the same numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4. My conclusions. You can install Tiny10 on your USB stick and voila, you will have a portable Windows 10 light version. Also, you can install programs, you can install application, and everything works without any problem. But I want to mention that you need to have a licensed Windows, you still need to have a license if you want to use Tiny 10 or Tiny 11. It all depends on you. I'm just showing you my experience and sharing my thoughts about Tiny 10 and Tiny 11. Few words about the speed. In my opinion, Tiny 10 is even more faster than Tiny 11, in my opinion. I'm not trying to say that Tiny 11 is bad. No, I'm just trying to say that Tiny 10 Portable, in my opinion, is faster than Tiny 11 Portable. By the way, Tiny 11 Portable is still fast, but definitely it all depends on you. Which operating system do you want to install on your USB stick? Tiny 10 or Tiny 11? So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. And if you still want to run Tiny11 from your USB stick, definitely I recommend to click here on this video.